All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about that absolutely incredible gameplay demo that we all just witnessed for Horizon Forbidden West. I know I did a seven hour long stream and you're probably wondering why I'm here talking about this game again. But the truth is not everybody catches the streams and I certainly know that not everybody's going to be watching that seven hour stream. So what I wanted to do is just make a separate video giving you my concise thoughts and a bit of a reaction, I guess you could say, to what we saw, and also just talk about the general reaction around the internet and of other gamers. It seems that Sony has once again genuinely impressed a lot of people here, because when we saw this, I gotta tell you, the first thing that really immediately just blew me away, even when watching it over the stream, and I have watched the 4K version now as well, which everybody was telling me to do. They're like, MBG, dude, you got to go watch this thing in 4K. It's going to blow you away. Um, I did, and uh, the first thing I noticed is this game is on another level visually. Now, I know there's a big caveat here, and that being it's 30 FPS, but obviously this game is going to have a performance mode just like Demon Souls, just like Spider-Man Miles Morales. And the thing that excites me about that is while the resolution might be lowered a little bit, you're probably not going to notice. I say this because I look at how incredible this game looks and how much better it's going to look when you play it at 60 FPS. When I went down to the performance modes in Demon Souls in uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales and probably what I'm going to be doing in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, you could barely see a difference at all. Like the game still pretty much looked just as good. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, this is some next level stuff we're seeing here from Sony and Guerrilla Games. As funny as it sounds, something that a lot of people are pointing out is the way Aloy's hair moved when she was swimming underwater, how realistic it is, how the physics are really just kind of on point here. And a lot of people were also shocked to find out, and I was one of these people, that when you watch the first trailer, the reveal trailer for Horizon Forbidden West, I was one of those people, along with many others, who just thought there's no way this game is going to look this good. I remember when I first saw that trailer, I said to myself, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's going to get some type of downgrade or they're showing a certain part of the game. It's just not going to look that good. And I was just so shocked when we saw the transition from the first cutscene into the gameplay, which was a seamless transition, by the way, to find out that, holy crap, this is actually what this game's going to look like. It's incredible, man. I know that this video is basically just going to be me gushing over this game. But once again, we have Sony coming out here and letting the games do the talking. And this game right now, alongside Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, is doing a lot of talking. Now, here's the thing. I look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I'm not saying that this diminishes my height for that game at all. Absolutely not. Ratchet and Clank is going to be phenomenal. But... Up until this point, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart was the best looking game I think maybe I'd ever seen. It just was that impressive. Horizon Forbidden West, hands down, the best looking game I have ever seen. I don't know how Sony is pulling this off. I don't know how Guerrilla Games is pulling this off. But we've just been spending this whole time so far in the video talking about the visual aspect of this. It's hard not to. It's so visually striking. I think the color palette fits perfectly with this game and actually goes a long way in really accentuating just how good the game looks and just really giving it that extra touch. And so you look at some of the other gameplay things that they added, right? It looks like they tightened up the melee combat a little bit, which is something that people were asking for. In general, the combat flow looks like it's relatively the same, which I think is good because I always thought that the combat flow in Horizon Zero Dawn was very good and there really doesn't need to be much change to it. What I've noticed is that it seems that they're putting a little bit more of an emphasis on verticality this time around, more so than the last game, where now you're actually going to have a glider, which is going to be very useful, and you will be able to free climb certain areas just kind of on the fly, right? And I just couldn't help but notice that with this gameplay demonstration, there was really a, a better sense of verticality uh, compared to the last game. That's not to mention the environmental detail. Again, this kind of falls in line with the overall visual aspect of the game, but the environmental detail is just truly superb. 
And I think that this is the first game where we're really starting to get a glimpse of like, okay, this is what the PS5 is capable of. And I had a feeling we were going to see that. Now, what makes this conversation just so much crazier is we're talking about a cross-gen game. That's the part that blows my mind about all of this. I did not think I was going to be this impressed by a game that's cross-gen. Now, what does this mean for future games such as maybe God of War Ragnarok, which is heavily rumored to be PS5 only? I have no idea, but I got to tell you, this gets me very excited. Something else that was really on point here and really, I think, just, you know, again, tremendous job by Guerrilla Games, the music. The music really did add so much to this gameplay segment. I want you to watch this and just try to imagine, like, go back and watch it and try to imagine what this would be like without that music. It would take so much away from it, right? So, you know, I was listening to the audio. It's not just the music, but the sound effects as well, you know? 3D audio is clearly being utilized here. Um, I can't imagine. I'm just trying to imagine what playing this game and that, what the dual sense is going to feel like. In case you can't tell, I'm very excited about Horizon Forbidden West. I I probably am a little bit overly excited right now, but again, it's hard not to be after seeing that. I mean, we have yet another masterpiece that Sony's going to be dropping, and it's just very surprising that they decided to reveal this 14 minutes of raw gameplay when they did. I think most of us were, again, anticipating this would be saved as like a big mic drop moment for, uh, you know, their big event that they're going to have. But instead, they come out here before E3, before Junior, you're like, check out Horizon Forbidden West. Um, it's also worth noting here that it seems there are going to be some very intense battles with the machines obviously that's what horizon zero dawn was known for but i'm watching this and she was battling the tremor tusk which is the name of the big you know elephant looking machine that she was battling and it was intense dude like i was watching this with my headphones on and my head my earbuds in anyway and i'm just thinking to myself like i'm starting to sweat over here you know like i'm my adrenaline's starting to go and i'm not even playing the game so you know, the underwater section looked incredible. I mean, it's brimming with life. Again, the, the level of detail, it's it's all just so good, man. And it kind of falls in line with everything I've been saying about PlayStation since the start. Not even just the start of, um, of the PlayStation 5 generation, but the build-up to it. And that is just that Sony seems to be doubling down obviously it's not even that they seem to be doing so they literally are doing it right now they double down on their games and the quality of them and i'm just i'm kind of in shock i i mean i knew horizon forbidden west was going to impress when we first saw it i knew it was going to be an incredible game and i feel like because it's a sequel to horizon zero dawn we kind of knew what to expect but if there's one thing that i'm still sitting here trying to process is how good this game looks I mean, if you want to show a next-gen game, this is how you do it. And again, it's actually a cross-gen game. I, I, I can't. How are they doing this? I don't know how they're doing this. I really don't. So, yeah, guys, I just had to take some time here to just give my raw, obviously very excited opinion and thoughts on what we just saw here. Um, I'll probably talk more about Horizon. Forbidden West in the upcoming podcast, and we'll probably learn some more information. One last thing I want to leave you with here. I probably should have put this information at the beginning of the video, but hopefully you stuck around long enough. A lot of people were feeling a little bit disappointed that there was no mention of a release date of any kind, and so Guerrilla Games did respond to this over on their Twitter, and they said, thanks for watching our Horizon Forbidden West gameplay reveal. We don't have an exact release date just yet, but development is on track and we will have an update for you very soon. Thank you as always for your ongoing support. So I thought that this was, this was actually a really important thing that they let us know because people still are feeling concerned even after the state of play that, you know, is it going to be delayed? And there's always that chance, but they're saying development is on track. That's definitely not something they would be tweeting out after this because it would be completely unnecessary if it wasn't. So it sounds like we're going to be getting a release date very soon. We have all of these summer events coming up, so I would assume we're going to get a release date 
at one of these events. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Just wanted to, again, take some time to talk about Horizon Forbidden West and this amazing gameplay that we've seen of it. Um, I know not everybody's going to be able to, you know, check out, nor will they want to click on a seven-hour stream. So here you go. Here are my raw, honest thoughts, letting you know right after the stream uh, what I thought. And after watching it in 4K, it looks amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of this Horizon Forbidden West gameplay reveal. Be sure to leave the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon. And feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.